Hey guys, I want to try to get this old greenhouse ready here. Uh, this is my mobile greenhouse. Took an old yard swing. Took a swing off of it. Put me some wheels on it on one end. I can lift it up. Put me a couple shelves on it. And I can start just about all the vegetables and uh, about half of the flowers that we put out every year on this greenhouse. Uh, I've got just basic little slats. I just put me uh, part of a two before. I ripped the two before. Put one part on one side, one on the other. And just put slats across it. And then just done the same thing up here. Just put slats and I put these edges on so my trays won't slide off. That's what these are for. Because when you get to moving it, if you don't watch, your trays will slide off. So I just put these pieces of old scrap wood and plywood and stuff down. Keep them sliding. And then I put this plastic in the bottom to kind of uh, cover up a lot of the open spaces. But I, let, I still leave some of it open so it'll breathe good. And I can put a little heater in here, one of the little 12-volt heaters uh, around it. And it'll stay about 70 or 80 degrees in here. When it's like 40 out. So I'm going to put a new sheet of plastic on it and get it ready for this year's vegetables. So uh, I'll do that and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay guys, this finished product. Uh, I just take this 6 mil plastic, clear plastic, drape over it from my back to the front. I like cream, Daddy. I like cream, Daddy. You help me, Susie? No. Then I take and staple it. I kind of center it up the best I can and I'll staple it here along the bottom where my daughter's hand is and then I'll staple it up under it then I'll come on the ends and I'll fold it back this direction staple it down and then I'll take the slack and center it up best I can and fold it back this direction and staple it up. I need a little tape on this corner because the wind will whip it pretty bad if I don't. It, it's real windy here, especially in the spring of the year, fall and spring. But uh, I overlap my flaps. This is you know, this is what it how much room I have when I Pull my flaps back. I can get probably, I'm going to say, 12 to 14 flats of vegetables down at the bottom, and then probably four flats up on top. That's plenty. I usually uh, throw away a lot more than I use, or let, you know, they just die, you know, if you don't transplant them. Okay, I'm going to put a thermometer in here and let you see how it warms up. It's about 70 degrees out here today. It's odd weather. Uh, I don't know what, what's going on with the weather. It's crazy. It's pretty nice today. I'm not going to complain though. But I'm going to put my thermometer. You can see it's close to 80 degrees right now. Wow. So I'm just going to set that right here. Come back by the hour and see what it reads. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, it's been about an hour. Uh, the outside temperature has dropped some. It's only like 68 degrees now. I'll check another thermometer on the front porch. Let's see what we got. Looks like it went up to 82, 84, between 84 and 85. That ought to work. Which now the sun has been gone ever since I uh, showed this last clip. You can see the overcast. But uh, you can imagine what it would do if it was full sun out. It would do pretty good. It always did last year. So that's how I get my seed started. Now I'll start them in my garage. Uh, I'll probably do a video on that when I get ready to start them. I'll just wait to explain it then. It won't confuse anyone. 
Well, thanks for watching.